Good morning, students. How are you? Okay. My name is Vikram Zakharwar, and I will be teaching you physics today. We will start with a new chapter that is some natural phenomena. Okay, students. See, uh, we are all humans, right? And in this society that we stay on this planet Earth. Okay, we keep on doing number of activities. Yes. Yes, we have created our own world. We have created our own luxuries, right? Our own recreational facilities. Yes. Yet there are some things that are happening in nature which always keeps us intrigued, which always keeps us inspiring, and that always surprises us. There are many such things that keep on happening around us, right, students? Like there are rainbows. Yes, beautiful colors of the sunset, sun, uh, sunrise. Yes, you see many natural phenomena that you around us around you isn't it out of that we will learn something some of few in this chapter okay students yes let us recall some of the natural phenomena that you really like what are they yes students suddenly if there is huge thunder lightning what do you say oh that's because of natural thing or because gods have created it Yes, in olden days it was the same situation. People used to believe that this is God's curse. God is doing that. That is lightning. Oh, but that wasn't it. There is some science behind it. That is what we are going to learn in this lesson. There are many other such natural phenomena. What are they? Yes, volcanoes. Isn't it students? Yes, there is one huge volcanic mountain in Japan called Fujiyama. In that place, there are volcanic eruptions, molten lava, magma coming out from the earth. Isn't that natural? Yes, that is natural phenomena. What are the other natural phenomena that you see? Cyclones. Yes, cyclones. Recently, in some Kokan areas, we received a cyclone. Isn't it, students? Yes, the name of the cyclone was Nisarga cyclone. Cyclones are natural phenomenon what do why do they occur they occur due to the movements of the winds yes due to the pressure okay once more we will see what are cyclones cyclones are just natural phenomena in america there was a huge cyclone called katrina and that has caught tremendous loss to the human property but all that we see the natural phenomena is it so useful no but we should study them why? Because these natural phenomena, when we study in deep, makes us understand the new laws of the natural science. What are the natural science? Natural science means what all that is going on around, that makes the work, things happen, the life that it rules. Okay, so we will study in deep. Okay, students, now first we will start with, what is this? What is this, students? It is nothing but lightning, isn't it? What is a lightning? A thunderbolt, yes, when you see. What happens is that when uh, in rainy season you see dark clouds all around hovering you and suddenly what do you see white sparks huge sparks coming out of it what is that that is nothing but thunder strokes or lightning and lightning occur why lightning occur because of charges now what are these new word called charges students we will see when you were very small you used to have a plastic scale in your compass box and you used to make bits of paper some friend of you told you that rub this plastic scale on your head and put it over the bits of paper what used to happen you used to say that the bits of paper got attracted to the plastic paper plastic scale and that was it magic it voila no students that is not magic that is there is some science behind it what is that that is called as charges now what are these charges this was a very old story in 600 bc there was a philosopher named thales what did he do he had a piece it was called as amber now what was that amber amber was a material that material was used to produce ornaments now that material some people believe was having a life why because that amber used to attract used to pull towards itself the other material was it magic no amber is a piece of resin it is when it is rubbed with certain another material it attracts that attracts because 
it gets charges now why does this happen similar case ha situation happens when in dark you wear some polythene clothes and suddenly you remove you hear some crackling noise or if you stand near your television set your hairs on the hand rise up they stand up what are these all phenomena students these are all nothing but charges okay actually if you want to learn there is one more story of this when in olden days people used to wear that amber and what do they used to do you know that is one old story you would like to listen that that piece of amber the people were using in ornaments after the end of the party that they used to do in some party situations they used to take that amber and touch towards a frog and the frog used to start dancing the frog used to start dancing because frog is a living being and it is sensitive to charges and because of that charges the frog used to dance and they all used to enjoy so this was that story and people didn't know what was this they used to think it's magic but in 1752 in 1752 as it is given in the textbook benjamin franklin was that scientist who said that this is all not magic this is all charges okay students this is all charges so we will learn what is charges and it took almost 2000 years to realize this isn't it interesting students okay so we will continue with learning all these natural phenomena in deep these lectures okay let us recall what are those uh, interesting games that you played yes students you used to have that scale in your hand and you used to rub it over the hair and you used to used to see that the pieces of paper were attracted isn't it why does this happen this happens because of the basic structure of the any material any material that you see for example this is a glass this is a glass any material that you see is made up of very tiny 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 atoms very tiny tiny particles called as atoms now these atoms are still made up of further tiny atoms what are those those are called as electrons and protons yes students electrons and protons we will see what are electrons and protons okay yes now what are electrons and protons any material that you see is made up of number of particles yes if you take a piece these are made up of number of particles these are called as atoms these are called as atoms each and every atom is made up of if you see into zoom if you zoom each and every atom and zoom it then it has made up of number of electrons and number of equal number of protons yes students each and every atom is made up of number of electrons and number of protons that we will see in the next lecture for the, now you just revise the notes and make your summary okay thank you